We hear between four to 200 lies a day. If you're actually asking somebody a direct question and they start blinking a lot, either before or after, when they're actually telling the lie, they don't blink. You can do it under one condition, that you never cross that line again. And the I line said, of drugs? Yes. And I said, you got a deal. And I never would have betrayed that with her. It's a serious... Um, Or alternatively, they will turn away and then they'll look back and stare after they've told the lie to see if you've actually caught the lie or not. So when we're anxious, which mostly we are when we're lying, we start to get agitated. So we start to fidget. And so, you know, you can actually see people starting to put their hands on their legs because they're starting to sweat. Or they might start to actually pull down here on their vagus nerve because this is a stress release here. And for women, they start to play with their necklace. So any sort of hand-to-face gestures is usually there's lots of mental and emotional processing going for people. So they might touch their nose, or they might touch parts of their face, you know, put their hand on their eye, they don't want to be seen, or they cut their face, oh goodness, or they will suddenly do it. They become very formal. I did not do that. Whereas they would have said in the past, I didn't do that. Distancing language, you know, the classic one is, I did not have sex with that woman. But I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not, I did not have sexual relations with that woman.